All right, at home versus the Lions this week, uh, big challenge for us. You know, they, they had some significant changes uh, schematically going into this last ball game. They were coming off their bye, and you can kind of see uh, different things that they're trying to do offensively, defensively. Uh, they're well coached. I know a bunch of their coaches. Uh, I know they'll be ready to play, and, and we got to play our best uh, to win, and we got to make sure that we prepare uh, out here starting the day and have a great work week. And with that, I'll take any questions. With Miles not being out there today, Kevin, you expect him back later in the week in the play Sunday? Yes. Kevin Baker was saying this is the most beat up he's been in his career, and it's been a little mentally challenging for him. How have you seen him kind of handle just the season, but then also this week in particular? Yeah, as you guys know, Baker's as tough as they come. Uh, he's sore. He's fighting through it. Uh, that's kind of what you, you expect from him. Kevin, anything new on Dick? Nothing new. We'll just day to day, and, and we'll uh, let the protocols uh, play themselves out. And then also with Baker, with him not practicing today, are you still optimistic he'll be able to go Sunday? Yes. Kevin, how much have the injuries affected the way he's played? I, I don't know, Tom. I think he could probably answer that better than me. Uh, I think he, he prepares really hard. He, he makes sure he's ready to go uh, out here on the practice field. And uh, But again, he's sore. Do you know any more about Troy Hill's injury, how serious it is? I, I think he uh, all the news continues to be good, uh, which is obviously great. Um, so we'll just keep bringing him along. Kevin, um, what, are you guys, what, can you, what are you guys doing now to, to correct what went wrong there in New England? Yeah, I think that's kind of what you do as coaches uh, when you don't play as well as you would have liked, don't coach as well as what you would have liked. You spend time looking at it and, and spend time together as a staff and, and identify some areas that we feel like we need to improve and do a better job. And that's what that's what you do uh, week in and week out. Kevin, how do you feel like the sense of urgency is right now after that loss in particular? Yeah, I feel that sense of urgency every day I walk in the building. Uh, that's just how the NFL works. Win, lose, or draw, the, the next game is the biggest game of your life. That's just how I treat it. So will, will, will you evaluate the quarterback position as the week goes on, or is it just guaranteed that Baker's going to play? I mean, I, I would say, Tony, you got to take it day to day like anything, uh, but I'm confident that he'll make it. Is, is it difficult, Kevin, to not overreact to, to one game, but let me just ask that. Uh, I would tell you, Jeff, yeah, you don't want to overreact. You don't want to underreact. You, you always want to make sure that, that every game, win, lose, or draw, gets gets your attention. And I think that's what we have to do as coaches and players. We have to learn from every game. Uh, you know, After a win, those meetings on Monday are really important because it's never perfect. And after a loss, uh, you know, you got to own it, and, and you got to, as a, a team, understand that, that there's areas we can do better. Kevin, you talked about the focus on this team just dealing with a lot of different things. Well, this week it seems to be a lot of people taking shots at Joe Woods for what happened. Is Baker Mayfield the guy? Do you feel like this is the most pivotal point now for that focus to really be a priority? Yeah, I, we ignore the noise on the outside with all due respect. Uh, so that's just the, the NFL. we got to be ready to go. On both sides of the ball, third down has been kind of a struggle for you guys lately. When you're going into this next week and you've had this game plan for all these different struggles, What's the first thing that you do to start correcting that, and how do you move forward against it? Yeah, that's a big focal point for us. We have to be better on third and fourth down on both sides of the ball. I want to say we're 28th on defense, 22nd on offense, uh, around there, which isn't good enough. Uh, so we, we spent some time on that this week as a staff, and, and we, again, are, are trying to be problem solvers, find ways that, that we can improve, uh, find things that we're good at, and continue to do. Them. Jarvis said he's not sure why he's not getting the ball more. Is that an area that you think can be improved? Yeah, I want all of our guys uh, to touch the ball. You know, yeah, I think you guys know how I feel about Jarvis, how important he is to, to us, uh, and, and definitely want him to be uh, involved. Do you feel like the knee is hindering him a lot? I, I, I think I've said it before. He's battling. He, you know, I don't think he feels great, but but he's uh, he's battling. So we saw Kareem out here earlier doing some stuff. How close is he? Uh, not this week, uh, but uh, he's he's progressing. So, so uh, uh, Jarvis's knee, and then you got Schwartz on concussion. Yeah. Uh, no Odell. Do you feel you're going to elevate a receiver for this game? I think we'll see how the week goes, Tony. Especially with you know when guys are working on through concussion protocol, there's a you don't really know until the days kind of 
you get to Thursday, Friday. So I think there's a chance if we can't have one of those guys, yes. Where's, where's Richard Higgins at? Just, from the outside looking at it, it seemed like every time you guys go to the ball, he makes a play for you. And I understand the ball is only <coughs> one football to go around. But considering where things are at, just does it make sense to try and get him more involved with drivers banged up and you know some of these other uh, issues you have with that position? Yeah, I think Richard's, you know, he's doing a great job. He's doing everything we're asking of him. Uh, we may call on him more, to, to your point, as guys are unavailable. Uh, but we're, we're just focusing on, on making sure we're efficient in everything we do, run, pass. You know, uh, we want all of our pass catchers to, to touch the ball. Do you have any update on Chubb? Do you think he could be back by Sunday? Yeah, I, I don't really have an update. We're just going to follow the protocol. So when you say not this week, you mean Kareem will not play Sunday? Kareem will not play Sunday. Okay. So, obviously, there's not a lot of great things to take from Sunday, but what did you think of Dearness Johnson? Uh, yeah, Dearness, you know, maybe I sound like a broken record, but every time he's out there, he comes through for us. And, and that's, uh, I think it's an indication of the type of teammate he is because he prepares so hard. Uh, whether you want him to be playing 30 snaps on special teams or carry the ball 30 times, he's going to be ready to go. You mentioned the uh, Lions' commitment to Ron. I guess you is that what you were referring to last week? The change. Schematic. Yeah, I think it was even more than that, Tony. I mean, the conditions weren't great, so that maybe contributed to it also. But they used an extra offensive lineman, I think, 28 times or so, uh, multiple tight end groups. So uh, the, the personnel's uh, certainly changed as well. And then today they're playing with Tim Boyle at practice. Yeah. Does that affect anything they're thinking of for this game? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, given the, the pressure you guys can apply for the quarterback, how do you explain you know, 28, as you mentioned, yeah. the turnover force? In turn, I was saying on third down. Yeah, but you guys are, oh. are in the 20s and, and in the fourth turnovers too. Takeaways, yeah, I mean, that's been, uh, that's been an emphasis, Jake, th uh, throughout this season, last season. Uh, we want to take that ball away. Uh, typically, when you're applying pressure to the quarterback, those sacks turn into sack fumbles. Uh, those pressures turn into interceptions. So we just got to make sure that we, we continue to apply pressure, whether we're rushing four, five, six, doesn't matter. And then when we're around that ball, we got to make a play on the ball. When you look at the run defense against the Patriots and even against the Steelers, what did you see as the biggest problem? Yeah, I think anytime uh, you know, you're know you not as efficient as you want to be as a run defense, it's, it's always a combination of things. I mean, number one, your run fits have to be great. You have to shed blocks. Uh, and then you have to tackle. So it was a little bit uh, of everything, and that's where we're going to work real hard this week to get it fixed. Are your D tackles giving you what they need to? Yeah, uh, I, I think again, I think all of us can improve. We can we can be better as coaches. We can be better as players. So I would single out one position group. Kevin they Baker said they don't need team to need a rah rah speech or anything after that game. What have you seen out of them even Monday and now today back in the facility, bouncing back from that game? Yeah, I, I think. You know, it's Wednesday. You, you have to move on. It, it's Lions Week, uh, and and you have to do the same thing if if you win a big game. You know, two weeks ago we won a big game and we turned the page because that's how you have to do it. Uh, so that's what we're doing as coaches. Definitely what we're doing as players, and we'll focus on the Lions. You're at a point in the season where you guys got to get hot here, especially with all these divisional games that are still playing. I know the Lions are this week, but just what have you seen from these guys that really give you the confidence that? They're going to be able to flip the switch down the stretch here and be a lot more consistent than they have. Been. Yeah, Daryl, I would just tell you, for us, it's about being consistent in our preparation, being consistent on Sunday. You know, talk to the guys this morning about how important your work week is and, and how important the meetings are and the walkthroughs and these practices because ultimately you can't wait till Sunday uh, to, to be ready to play. You got to get ready uh, today. Did you guys, as a coaching staff, talk about? changing some things on game day as far as the operation? Uh, nothing, uh, no major changes. I think, you know, the communication, uh, Marla, I think is really good. It uh, has to continue to be good, but it's uh, it takes, it's an, you know, all hands on deck effort when it gets to game day. Hey, Kevin, circling back to Baker, since Sunday, did it ever reach a point where, you know, you talked as an organization about, you know, would it be wise to rest him Sunday against Detroit, try to get him healed up? better version of himself of the final six? Yeah, I think we always, just uh, with the medical group, Nate, make sure that you know, whatever we're doing, we're making 
decisions in the best interest of the player. Like we, we will never put a player out there who's not ready. Uh, but if he's ready to go, he'll he'll play on Sunday. Yeah, you know, you you always talk about how nobody's healthy. Mm -hmm. In your uh, career with the Vikings, have you ever seen a quarterback this late in the season with multiple injuries? That seems unusual to me. I, I can't off the top of my head, Tony. I can't, but I th I do think if you look around the league, guys are are fighting through injuries. It's November in the NFL. Uh, there's 17 games now, so uh, I think you feel you feel really good that first day of training camp, and, and then you, that's it. On Monday, when we were talking about penalties, you mentioned technique things in the back end. I think Greg got the two PI calls Sunday. So what did you see on those, and what does he need to do differently? Yeah, it's, I mean, it is clean hands. You can't tug at jerseys. That's the easiest one for the officials to see. Uh, so we got to start here on the practice fields, making sure that we're not doing it here, uh, and that's got to carry over to the game.